Hey up and welcome to another Restrap how-to video. Today we're looking at custom frame bags and we're looking at the entire process around how you can design your own and how we'll go about making them. Here we've got two different versions. Uh, they're probably the main different ones. Um, but first of all, should we have a little think about why you might want a custom bag rather than one of our off-the-shelf models? First of all, if you've got a really unusual shaped bike, perhaps it's got a particularly small frame um, or particularly if you've got suspension bikes and there may not be a bag that is just perfectly off the shelf that will fit around that bag perfect around that frame perfectly the other reason might just be that you want a bag that fits your bike absolutely perfectly you want everything to be really nice and tidy within the frame size both of them completely legitimate completely fair and the custom frame bag surface is exactly what you need in those circumstances Let's just have a little look at a couple of the, the options that you might want to go through though. First of all, we've got this version, which is, is very similar to the Adventure Race range. So it's lighter weight fabric. It's got a single zip on each side. And if we open up the zip on this side, so the drive side, then it's got a divider in there as well. Now you can spec where you would like that divider to be. Um, it's vertical, so it runs up and down the bike. And yeah, you can choose exactly where that goes. The other main option that we have when it comes to full frame bags is carry everything style. Um, so it's heavier duty fabric. And in addition to that, we've got two zips down this side and we've got a horizontal design divider. So we've got a top section and we've got a bottom section as well. Attachment points, again, you can specify exactly where you would like those to go and you can shape that around any specific needs that you have for your bike. Perhaps the most important thing, or literally the most important thing, if you are requesting a custom frame bag is that it fits your bike perfectly. Um, and there's a process that we go through to make sure that that's the case. First thing that you'll need to do is go onto our website and order our custom frame bag kit. And this fold out piece of paper gives you all the instructions that you need to follow to ensure that we're able to design and make the bag that fits your bike perfectly. So running through the design process step by step, the very first thing that you'll need to do is make sure you've got some strap card, which is at least at the size of the frame or the size of the frame bag that you want to cover. First thing to do is roughly shape that so it's slightly larger than the space that you're using then measure that up against the frame. Carefully cut away card until you have the shape that perfectly fits within your front triangle and replicates exactly how you want your bag to look, avoiding any cables, mounts, the derailleur and chain rings as well. As you can see, we've got a template which started off as a large piece of cardboard. I roughly measured it up and then have carefully trimmed it down to size until it's reached the point where it absolutely perfectly fits inside the frame. And as long as your template fits this well inside the frame, then your end product will do, the bag will do as well. Next stage is you can see that we've got some masking tape here. What I've actually done is I've fitted this exactly where I want the straps to go and I've used slightly wider masking tape for where I want the wide Velcro straps to go and then some narrower stuff for where I want the webbing straps to go as well. My final step is gonna be, I'm just gonna mark exactly where these are on the template just using a marker pen, just marking each side here, and I'll go around and do all of them. Okay, so at this point, I'm now ready to transfer the template onto the design kit, ready to send back off to Restrap. I'm gonna start off with pencil, uh, just in case I do make any mistakes, and then we'll go over in, in marker. So we've got a faint line out here. One thing that I do want to do is make sure that I'm using straight lines for the final product. As you're doing this, try to be really careful to make sure you've only got one line. So it's really, really clear for the cutters at Restrap exactly what size you're looking for. So that's the, the main template laid out. Now all I want to do is just reconfirm exactly where the, the strap marks are. So one thing that we need to do is just confirm which ones we want to be Velcro, which ones we want to be webbing. So we use R for the rubberized Velcro and then W for webbing. Depending on whether you want option one, which is a single zip model or option two, two zip, just make sure you tick that box. If you are going for option one, then just mark exactly where you would like the divider to go as well. If you are choosing a double zip option, 
then bear in mind that we've got a minimum height of 250 millimeters that's required to be able to run that. And that is now ready to take a photo of and send back to Restrap alongside a photo of the bike. Go to our product page and choose the size to match how it fits on the template. Pick your color of material or the VX21, which is the lighter weight fabric that you'll see in our race range. Attach the photo of your design and also a photo of your bike for reference. Then place the order. We've got lead time for 28 days on custom frame bags when you place the order and we'll be in touch once your bag is ready. So here you can see one of the custom frame bags fitted and it's actually really useful just to show you some of the things to look out for while you're measuring up for your own bag. A um, few things that you can see that we've done here, the bottom section is cut off and there's a couple of reasons behind that but it's mainly because once that's loaded up and it's got the potential to bulge out, what you want to make sure is that A, it doesn't bulge out into the chain ring and also there's clearance for the cranks as well. If you do want to carry water and you're using full frame bag then you've got a couple of options. We've got some fork cages here which are clearly quite a useful thing to use. Um, but also you might want to use a hydration pack within the frame bag itself as well. One other thing to bear in mind, and it's not obviously not relevant to this bike, is if you're designing one around a full suspension bike, then just consider any of the suspension action. Make sure that you've measured it with the shock fully compressed, as well as when it's in its normal uh, extended state as well. And make sure that the space that you're trying to fit the bag into isn't getting compressed or changed as the suspension action moves. You can see here that there's actually no bosses or anything to worry about on the top tube, but if there were, then they would probably be about there and the spacing would be okay. Make sure you do measure that if you have got bottle, bottle bosses that you want to use. Um, and also there's nothing in terms of cables that we need to worry about here, but potentially there would be. And if there is, then this is the opportunity to, to make sure that you're measuring up before you send the bag through to, or the design through to us, rather than getting it and realizing that you've missed something. So hopefully this video has given you some ideas around both the kind of design that you might, might want to use and the options that are available for our custom frame bags. And then obviously taking you through the process from having an idea through to sketching it out and being able to send it through to us in a format that means that you get exactly the bag back that you're looking for. We've now gone through so many of these custom bags and we've done them for anything from mini velos through to tandems to cargo bikes to weird and wonderful suspension designs. So we're pretty used to doing absolutely anything. If there's anything that you're not sure we're gonna be able to do or you want to ask us a question about, then please do get in touch and we'd be more than happy to, to work through that design process with you.